Maryland lawmakers are pushing for a vote on a piece of gun safety legislation named for a teen killed in a school shooting. But as Darcy Spencer reports, there's concern that the bill could stall during this year's General Assembly. 16-year-old Jalen Willie was shot and killed while at school in St. Mary's County in 2018. Police say the shooter, a 17-year-old fellow student, used his father's gun. Lawmakers in Maryland are pushing for a safe storage law to prevent more kids from easily getting a hold of guns. They're calling it Jalen's law, and it has the support of her mom. It could potentially save another family from having to do, deal with this, really. But now there's concern that Jalen's law will not pass the General Assembly. They say it's stalled in the House Judiciary Committee, where a vote has not been scheduled and time is running out. I think it's very important. Um, I'm, I'm frustrated that it hasn't passed yet. Advocates say Jalen's law would require that guns be safely stored, locked, and unloaded and not accessible to unsupervised children under the age of 18. They say current law only applies to children up to age 15 and doesn't require that guns be unloaded. It would also strengthen the penalty for those who break the law from a fine to jail time. We've been really surprised that despite sort of this moment we are in time with youth suicide and just the you know, just how many firearms are now in homes that that it hasn't moved at all. It's been nearly four years since that. Melissa Willie testified in support of the bill in February. It has been 1,771 days since I lost my daughter. So did critics of the bill, saying it infringes on gun ownership rights and could yeah. lead to prosecuting yeah, parents. I mean, I'd hate to see uh, the tragedy, you know, how this can really rip a family apart. God forbid it ever happens. I'd hate to, you know, to have this be misused, obviously, against a grieving family. Jalen's mom says if it doesn't pass, she'll keep fighting for it until it does. Darcy Spencer, News 4.